guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me so in today's video I thought I would do a project share now I was creating while laid up and I just kind of kept on going you know when the creative juices are kind of flowing you don't want to stop so in any case this isn't a tutorial it is a um, just a project share of a summer um, journal that I was working on to kind of document everything that was happening during the summer so I wanted to you know me I wanted to create some sort of little holder for my mini album so I created this little purse and didn't it come out absolutely beautiful I am so in love with it and then here is the back and then I have um, three dimensional butterflies that I die cut out, used a bunch of paper that I tore the edges, and then included a nice big chipboard sticker on top. So that's the back. In the front, I just clustered up a bunch of different things. And as you can see, I've really utilized my silver mirror cardstock. All right, so let's go ahead and just open it up. And I do have a pink velcro as the closure so let me go ahead and just take out my journal and see so you can see there the way I've done the sides I think this came out absolutely absolutely adorable and what a great way guys right to um to house those journals those mini albums why not place it in a really pretty holder okay so there is that now let me show you the journal hey guys i'm interrupting this video super quick to let you know about a new goal that i've recently established for my channel now i'm looking at attaining an additional 300 subscribers in the next few months what i know i know it's a lofty goal right but I really think that we can do it together. So how can you help? You can help by doing three small things. The first thing is hitting that like button on this video, then clicking on that subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, all you need to do is hit the like button on this video. It's even easier. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, simple things but mean so much. I would really appreciate your support. So. Are you ready to be on this goal journey with me? All right, let's do it. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so again, I wanted to kind of document um, some of my summer um, travel, some of my different things that I was doing throughout the summer. I had all kinds of high hopes of doing all kinds of things throughout the summer, even made myself a little summer bucket list, and it's October. <laughs> And I can't believe the time flew. Leave me a comment down below. Are you? Did that happen to you as well, either this year or past years, where you have all these fun, grand things that you want to do during the summer, and the next thing you know, you look up and it's fall. <laughs> but anyway, I was able to create my journal as well. I was um, definitely did document some things. So let me show you kind of how I've created it. So what I did was I did a pamphlet stitch journal. Then I this the cover is really busy, but I love it. it. Has so many different textures to it. I die cut out these larger butterflies in mirror cardstock as well as patterned scrapbook paper. And let me see if I can bring it up like this. And then in the middle, I put some silver gems. I have I made some flags here added some pearls down here chipboard sticker felt flowers so you can see that I have an awful lot going on here and I love it I think the textures are just on point and I love it when you see like all kinds of things kind of coming together so on the edge I place this pom-pom trim both on the front and the back and let's go ahead and open it 
to move this out of the way. So I thought that I would start off with a little bucket list of some things that I wanted to do. As you can see, there were tons of stuff that I wanted to do and was only able to accomplish a few of the items. So here, let me just open this up. I have some pictures. And then here I created some pockets just using some scrapbook paper that I tore and then matted some pictures from the summer. Put these back in. Here's another one. Here I have a, let me just close this up. Here I have a, another picture. And then I have some hidden journaling on the side. Here I have another page with some more pictures. Here I've created this 4x4. Four four. It's a 4x4 four four or 3x3. Three three. I can't, um, I think it's a 4x4. Four four. But did some journaling and then have lots of pictures that I've matted. And then here is another half page. Just added some baker's twine. This is thicker. And another page with a pocket. Another page. Little tuck spot. Here is another pocket. I love these pages because they're all different sizes and they're all ready for me to finish documenting all of the summer things like that a little belly band another pocket how cute here is a narrow belly band another pocket here and then a coin pocket and then the back how sweet is that? And it feels so good in my hands. I love that feeling. It feels chunky. It feels, it feels just so, so good in your hands. You know, I love to see how other people journal, how they document, um, whether it be special times in your life or just documenting the everyday, normal life kind of things. I love to be able to look back and kind of see what I was doing a year ago at this time or, you know, looking back at family memories, all of that good fun stuff I love. I love capturing those memories. I hope that my journal provided you with some sort of inspiration if you're looking to create something similar. I love seeing how other people journal and how they create things because it gives me inspiration in what I'm trying to do on my end. So I love watching other people do their journaling and how they lay out things and, you know, how they do things. It definitely gives me ideas. So I, I hope, hope that this video gives you you ideas as well. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, guys, thank you so much. Your support goes an awful long way in helping my channel out. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.